today we will be looking at uh, expanding on the simple structures we saw we have been seeing both positive and uh, negative feedback systems. To start with let us consider this uh, scenario as shown in the diagram. So, we have population is affected only by the birth rate or net birth rate uh, that as you can see is a positive feedback system. So, we are going to introduce a new variable called as say carrying capacity which is going to define how much the population can grow, nothing can grow forever there has to be some limiting constraint some limiting resource which finally, slows down the growth. So, in this simple example let us assume it is called as carrying capacity okay. Now, as and as you can see carrying capacity is external to the system. Now, in the first order system that we saw the simple uh, uh, positive feedback system we have seen that in population affects uh, net birth rate net birth rate affects population and that is net birth rate is defined by something called as fractional birth rate. Now, by introducing this carrying capacity what you are saying is will as the population grows towards the carrying capacity it is going to affect the effective fractional birth rate which in turn will affect the actual birth rate. So, we have positive feedback system here followed with the and a negative feedback system right here. So, as the population comes closer to the carrying capacity we would like the effective birth rate to fall down when population is far far less than the carrying capacity then uh, there is no real restriction on the birth rate it can be very high as it as population approaches carrying capacity we expect the birth rate to fall or when population is exceeds the carrying capacity we can even expect the birth rate to be negative. So, this is a very simple scenario before we start simulating these things let us try to see what will the expected behavior of system be we will try to plot the expected rate level graph level is another name for stock and how we can expect the fractional birth rate to change with population divided by capacity uh, ratio. So, let us uh, look at those three things right now. So, convenience I have reproduced this uh, the same causal loop diagram here. So, here we have a positive feedback system and here is a negative feedback system. Uh, let us let us take this scenario the questions from let us say uh, bottom up kind of approach let us mark on the y axis say effective fractional birth rate and on x axis here let us define it as uh, p divided by c. So, let us denote uh, carrying capacity as c. So, the population is nothing but the ratio is nothing but p by c ok. So, on the x axis we have the ratio p by c on y axis we want to plot what is going to be the effective birth rate. So, the recall here so, you can place it in context we have population we have births and we have if this is a simple positive feedback system that we had seen and we had modeled it like a stock and flow like this. I am just going to call it rate and here we put a growth factor g right. So, this is what we had done when we studied positive feedback systems where we defined as a stock and then we told it is going to increase. Uh, the rate is equal to g into p and it became a positive feedback system. 
So, this is a model that has been expanded on the left side where this fractional birth rate now g does not directly affect g uh, affect the rate that is right here. So, if you are using the birth rate we are talking about I put a small b bit of g equivalent. So, you are saying that that is will change based on the carrying capacity. So, that is a additional loop that has come into play right here. So, now how would we like this fractional birth rate to change? So, for convenience you can think you know as this p and p by c ratio changes what will happen to this value of g or this value of b what we expect it to happen. Uh, so, for convenience let us just uh, have some 3 values here let us just put 1 and let us put uh, some large number c. So, now if population is very low initially carrying capacity is very large then there is really no restriction on the birth rate right we can allow the birth rate to be as high as it can be and so let us assume that birth rate starts here somewhere and for some time we can even expect that the birth rate will be kind of uh, is not at all affected by the uh, carrying capacity right. even suppose we have an uh, excess of uh, 10000 suppose is the carrying capacity and your uh, current population is just uh, 10 we can expect the birth rate to be constant, but again the, the current population is say 100 still 10000 is quite far off or population is 500 or whatever number. So, up to some extent we can expect that the effective birth rate can continue to remain constant nothing really affects it to change its direction right. So, this can continue up to some point. Another way to think about it is how much you are going to consume. For example, uh, whatever you can take, uh, let us say the food you eat. Suppose there is a, uh, let us say you are hungry and there is a, say a 10 pizzas available, right. So, as per normal rate, whatever you can, your hunger is satisfied when there, are, when you eat, say, one full pizza, then hunger is satisfied. So, there are 10 pizzas till you eat one, your hunger is satisfied. But even if there is 5 pizza, still you will eat 1 and hunger is still satisfied. So, when there is excess capacity, your consumption continues to remain unaffected, right, up to a point. So, as the population comes closer to the carrying capacity, or uh, uh, then I will start to say ration the amount of intake. So, we can expect that this slope, you know, can uh, slowly reduce over time and as we approach 1 we continue to reduce and as p and c starts to go very very large at some point the growth get get halted the population is way way high as it all there is a, ok to give an example as it all as we started with there is a say 100 pizza and 10 guys each of you have one it is fine then there is 50 pizzas 10 guys no problem uh, or 50 guys 100 pizzas still no problem then suddenly it is 100 guys 100 pizzas still may not be any problem. Imagine there are 10,000 guys 100 pizzas probably you can just get a small piece of it 1 million guys and there is 10 100 pizzas probably nobody will eat you will all be busy fighting you may not get chance to eat. So, that means your consumption effectively has dropped to 0 as p by c goes large right. Here pizza is your carrying capacity and uh, population is the number of people who want to have a slice of the pizza or slice of the resource. Here we are denoting simply as the carrying capacity. This is the effective birth rate that we can expect. Now, given this fractional rate value for g if g is constant what will be the behavior? So, when g is constant we can expect a exponential growth right. 
So, here in this graph it shows that this G is falling down, then what is the behavior we can expect? As G goes down, we can expect a an asymptotic convergence to the goal or a goal seeking behavior. So, this now if we model the population P over time, then uh, we can expect a kind of a behavior like this, where initially there is a exponential growth and here it became a let us say a goal seeking or asymptotic growth. And this point we call it as the inflection point. point where the loop dominance changes at inflection point what happens at inflection point loop dominance changes from positive loop to negative goal seeking so up to the inflection point this loop is active after the inflection point I mean this loop is dominant rather after inflection point this loop can be expected to be dominant given the case case. So, it has to eventually saturate in this kind of system. So, let us uh, expand into one more type of graph. So, there is a rate. level graph. How will this graph be? How can we expect this graph to be? So, initially remember I need to get this growth behavior. So, if you recall in a pure positive feedback system when there is when population or the stock value goes exponential growth, then rate level graph, your rate level graph had a line like this and we saw that whatever the positive uh, slope it will exp it will show this exponential growth behavior and if it is goal seeking then we told that the line has to be like this right. So, if I am going to get a figure like this then I need to get a triangular or a hump shaped graph like this. you get something like this, this is your rate or the net rate that this shown here, this this net rate is what is plotted here. So, just to confirm, so look at this graph, we had shown three different graphs with three different x and y axis. The first one we told was was effective birth rate or how we can expect this to change with respect to this ratio, we had just hypothesized on that and based on that it will ok, here it is constant. So, we can expect exponential growth where we did value of population over time graph and as this continues to fall and reaches 0, then it has to the addition to the stock will incrementally reduce, will uh, successfully reduce until it reaches uh, the maximum value. The third graph we plotted over net rate versus level as it will level or stock. In our case, it is the population P and this is net birth rate that will be kind of hump shape. Now, let us try to come up with a very simple model which can simulate this behavior for us. To do that, I am going to make an assumption. 
see this curve here as you can see is non-linear right. Now, trying to fit an equation for it whereas, P by C changes in value I need to come up with a curve like this it is kind of little more uh, difficult you know I need to come up with some if then else conditions or I need to draw it as a graph and then say if the value of P by C is say between 0 to 0 0.5 take this value if it is between this take this value etcetera that is one way or if I know the equation for this curve then I write uh, how this birth rate can change as a function of P by C right. 